Hi, welcome, I'm Simon. So I created the toe touch method because I got hurt and I wasn't unable to run, it hurt when I was walking. I did six months of physical therapy. I also did massage and chiropractic and nothing helped me. So what I decided to do is really help myself and my personal trainer brain ran to, well, the first area of contact with the ground is your toes. So I started stretching my toes. Then the next thing on the chain becomes the ankles. So I started moving the ankles, moving up into the thighs and hips and stretch those out. And I started doing this routine. And each time I did it, I was able to touch my toes after doing it. But after two weeks, I could touch my toes without doing it. And I'd never been able to do that before. And also, I was then able to go out and run. Not just walk, but I was able to run without pain. So my gift for you in under five minutes is you can touch your toes. Enjoy. Stretch number one is going to be the toe stretch. So you're going to sit back. Get on to the toes like this, and then sit into the toes. It's an amazing stretch. What it does is it opens out the toes, also the fascia um, on the soles of the feet, the six meridians down there, so you get all that really amazing energy coming out. Now, what we're doing is here is we're, we're sitting in discomfort. It's a yin stretch, so we're not after pain, but we are after discomfort. So you want to breathe into it. And you shoot, you're going to do it for one minute. Um, so I have a little timing clock you can follow. And, and then just breathe. That's it. Just know that you can handle the discomfort. It's only be about another 20 seconds. So we're just going to sit here. And then as you feel more comfortable, you can go deeper into it. You just feel like everything opening out on the soles of the feet. Breathe more than you think you need to. It helps you relax, feel nice and calm, and just sit in the stretch. It can be quite intense to start with, so if you can't make the minute, that's absolutely okay. You can come out of it, no problem. Just do what you feel capable of. Just a little bit longer. Okay. And then, at the end of it, we're just gonna come forward, and then just lift those toes up and you can just shake your toes out. Just let that energy flow. All right, stretch number two. So we started out in stretch number one and we opened up the toes. Now we're gonna go the opposite way to open up the ankles. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come and you're just gonna rock back and go up as far as you can onto the ankles and just sit there. You could find, again, we're finding discomfort. So we're looking to really stretch it out. You can bring the knees a little lower, whatever you find where the pressure is. If it's too much, you can just drop one knee and do one at a time. But we're just gonna sit here for a minute. And again, we're looking at really just sort of, you know, not after pain, but just that discomfort. And then we can kind of challenge it, you can feel that air around the ankles so they start to really open up and it's going to have such a massive difference for how you feel when you walk it's going to be completely different because we have all these shoes on all the time and our shoes and it make our ankles all locked and our toes locked so therefore it's uncomfortable so this opens it up your swim is going to help you swim better it's going to help you walk better you just feel much more energized and of course more importantly lead you towards touching those toes all right, well done. Stretch number three, we're gonna do a thigh stretch, but it's also gonna go all the way up into the hip, all the way up the body. So it's gonna give you a lot more bang for your buck on the stretch. So I put a mat up against the wall just to protect the, the shins and the ankles and also makes it a little bit softer for the knees. So you can also put a chair next to you if you need some support. But come up here, Get the toe in, 
get the knee right against the wall, just smashing it up into the wall there. Okay, and I'm holding on here. And then you're just gonna lean back into it. Just do whatever you feel is comfortable for you or on the edge of discomfort. So you should feel the stretch up through the thigh and then you're just gonna sit back into it. And then just sit there, all right? We'll do a minute each side and just breathe more than you need to. And then as you get into it, you can slowly push back. This gives you so much more than a regular stretch you might get on the thighs if you're standing and pulling your, your foot behind you. This really opens out the hip, the whole body. So you just feel amazing. So breathe into it all the way up. Let go, find that discomfort and move a little bit more into it. Feels good. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna do the test. We've done our three stretches, it takes about four minutes, and now we're gonna do a test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about 10 breaths, and then on the 10th breath, I'm gonna go down holding my breath, as far as I can, and then when I feel like I need to breathe, I'm gonna breathe in, and then with the breath, go down. Nice and easy, no force. And then just sit here for a little bit, enjoy the feelings, and then just come slowly up and see up to it. You did it. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, go down. 